Well, McKinley, this is it. It took a long time to get here, and my heart's racing like a slow pig in a sausage factory. But I can truly say that today, I'm living the life I always wanted. I took some time off to let my outsides catch up with my insides. But now, I'm ready to take this old jalopy for a spin. So, say hello to Coach Sheldon Beast. Coach, welcome back. You know, from a distance, I almost mistook you for an aging yet virile James Garner. Oh, thanks, Sue. Mm -hmm. It's good to be back. Coach, it is so good to have you back and in true form. Oh, my gosh, we got so much guy talk to catch up on that we never even got to do before. Like, uh, about me and Rachel and Mercedes. I talked to her. We're cool. You're fine, Sam. Just take a breath so you don't black out on me. Hey, Coach, I want you to know that I've taken steps to battle the scourge of cis normativity okay. and transmisogyny. And some other terms I had never heard of until I did a quick Wikipedia search this morning. Um, thanks, but I just want things to go right on back to normal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, because I had this list of all these pronouns. I mean, you just tell me which one and I'll enforce it. There's he, there's she, there's it, zim, z. I, I, I think he and him works fine. Now, Coach, as you know, I've always been quite vocal about my opposition to bullying in any form. And I want you to know that I'm here for you as a friend, ally, and uh, shoulder to cry on. Metaphorically, of course, because you're a man now and real men don't cry. I gotta say I'm impressed, Sue. I kind of figured someone would say something or gawk at me funny or... Coach, you will be happy to know that McKinley High is now a fully gender-fluid high school. Wow. All right, now if you'll excuse me, out of the corner of my eye, I see a fatty who could use a good, healthy fat shaming. Mm. Uh, well, you know, I should probably get going. Yeah, I gotta go meet Rachel and, um, uh, high five. <laughs> yeah, that's some strength, huh? <laughs>